Hey kids, do you like elephants? <coughs> do you like monkeys? <coughs> Camels and penguins? <coughs> well, get ready for them to die. Unless you act selflessly. Welcome back, it's Constraints. This time with a resource management game about the tragedy of the commons. As we're all big zoophiles here on Bromberry Games, I've decided to make a game called Zookeepers. In this game, you win if you have the most animals and victory points. The rules are very simple. You might even say underdesigned. Uh, in the middle of the table, there are 20 dice, d6, uh, five for each player. And each player starts with one of the four animals in the zoo. So if we're playing the monkey, for example, we start with three of them and they have some needs, some fruits, vegetables, and water. So on our first turn, we have to satisfy the fruit need. And since we have three monkeys, we need six fruits. We pick how many dice we want to take from the common pool, the common goods, and we roll to see if we get enough of them. In this roll, we didn't get enough. We only got five. So one of the monkeys died. Anyway, moving on. The penguin needs zero fruit. So the player could choose to take zero dice from the pool and just pass the turn. However, every point that you get in excess, so say you needed six fruit and you got seven, that one point above would go to your victory points. So now we do that for every resource and every player. Once that is done, each player marks down how many of each animals they had left and passes their animal to the player next to them. After that, the dice that are in the common pool get doubled and five new ones get added. But at the beginning of the round, players can choose to change one victory point for one new dice. So when two camels really really like each other, they make another camel. I won't go into the details, but all your animals are doing that. So you add half of however many animals you have to the original amount. So if you had two camels, you had another one, half of that. But if you only have one, you still add one. Finally, and crucially, if in any of the seasons, which is the switching of the animals, you reach half of what you started, rounded down, all of you lose. There are no winners. Everybody dies. All the animals are dead. And of course, if uh, you don't have any more dice in the middle, then you automatically lose because all of the animals die. All right, comrades, that's it for zookeepers. I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you like the video. I'm excited to see what Simon's made as always. Uh, check that out and the podcast where we talk about our design decisions. So yeah, see you in two weeks. Until then, bye bye.